Hi, fourth graders, welcome back. This is going to be the second part of our lesson in learning how to write in the style of boxes and bullets. The last time that we got together, we uh, made sure that we used our claim, which is I love ice cream. And then we added our reasons. We said, because you can add different toppings, there are so many flavors and it's refreshing on a hot day. From there, we decided that the idea of I love ice cream because was being repeated again and again. So we decided to make a complex sentence where we, where we combined all three of those ideas into one complex sentence. I love ice cream because you can add different toppings, comma, there are so many flavors, comma, and also because it's refreshing on a hot day. The next step of this writing process is to add evidence of whatever you're saying and your reasons. So for example, again, we talked about our reasons being the different toppings, the many flavors and being refreshing on a hot day. So we're going to take some notes of evidence to back up each of these reasons listed. So for our example of reason one, toppings, we gave some ideas of sprinkles, chocolate chips and marshmallows as toppings. So now we're gonna move on to reason two. which is the many different kinds of flavors. So we're going to give examples of the different kinds of flavors that we can have for ice cream. Some evidence of the different kinds of flavors are there are chocolate, there are vanilla, and there are mint. That doesn't mean that those are the only kinds of evidence. We're just only going to list three kinds of evidence. Our third reason was that ice cream is refreshing on a hot day. And some evidence of it being refreshing was we said it, that the ice cream was cold, that it tastes good, and that it cools you off. So now we're on to our next step. We are going to look at the format of writing your thesis statement, which we have already done, and then building our topic sentences for each of the paragraphs that we're going to start inside of our essay. Let's begin writing our topic sentences. These sentences will be the first sentences that you have in your paragraphs two, three, and four. So the first topic sentence, you're going to say, one reason I like, love ice cream is, and remember we do our statement in red, that there are so many toppings. And we write that in blue because that is our first reason. We're going to then start listing the pieces of evidence that we wrote in green from the notes before about sprinkles, chocolate chips, and marshmallows. So this is what that would look like. We write our transition phrase, for example, and then you can add, and then our evidence, sprinkles, comma, chocolate chips, comma, and marshmallows. Now we're going to move on and we're going to start writing our second topic sentence. And this will help us begin our second body paragraph talking about the um, many different flavors of ice cream. We start our paragraph with a transition phrase, another reason, and then our claim, I love ice cream is, and then our reason, there are so many flavors. We're gonna follow this with listing the examples of the different kind of flavors. The transition phrase, some examples are, Evidence one, chocolate, evidence two, vanilla, and also evidence three, which is mint. Now we're going to move on and write our topic sentence three for our third body paragraph. We'll use our transition word, which is lastly, our claim or our statement, I love ice cream because, and then our reason, it is refreshing on a hot day. 
Now I'm going to start citing my evidence of it being refreshing on a hot day. The transition of, for example, evidence, it, ice cream taste is cold, tastes good, and cools you off. Now that we have done that, we have given ourselves a strong foundation of the um, template for writing an essay. So remember, the format is when you write your claim, you list your reasons in your introductory paragraph. Then when you go on to build your body paragraphs, you need to make sure that you have a transition phrase and then your claim followed by your reason. And then after your reason, you're going to cite the evidence that supports each reason.